Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I have got a few favorites to share with you. I'm really trying to cut back on my favorites, um, so let me know if you enjoy that with a thumbs up. I've only picked the things that I really, really like. Um, the first thing is this shine spray from Ozzy. It's, it's the Sun Touched Shine 24 Hour Shine One Use. Um, I had always kind of steered away from shine products, but recently I have um, really been trying to incorporate them. And I've read um, in Allure magazine actually that having an aerosol based spray is really good. The one they recommended was from Tresemme, but this one seemed to have the same key ingredients in it except it was a dollar cheaper. So I just picked this up and I really like um, the smell. I mean, it's not like something I would, it's okay if you accidentally smell it, you know what I mean? It's not gonna suffocate you. Um, but I really do like the hold that this gives and I can wear it whether my hair is curly or straight and it just gives that extra um, life to my hair, which I really enjoy in the winter time. This product from Maybelline, it's the last Lash Sensational. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, um, but I really do love it. I um, mentioned it in the video that that was the winner out of the two mascaras that I was comparing. Um, and as this formula has dried out even more, uh, I love it even better. So um, I am very happy with this. And if it's too wet for you at first, just wait, just wait a week or so. Um, and it would be wonderful. I posted an Instagram picture of my outfit from um, this event that I went to last weekend. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Um, but it was the kind of event where it was formal and um, I didn't know a lot of people, so I wanted to make sure that I looked flawless. And I knew I would be eating and drinking and stuff, so I didn't want to have lipstick on my teeth or um, I didn't want to have my lip feathering or anything like that. This really was um, a lifesaver. It was something I could depend on and I didn't have to keep checking my lipstick in the mirror. This is in underage red. It's the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And I cannot rave about this product enough. If you have a holiday party coming up, go out and get this one. A good lash primer can really save the day. This one from Tarte is amazing, especially if you have some waterproof formulas that are a little bit too harsh on your lashes. Put this on first, and then when you remove your makeup, it'll be a lot easier to get off that waterproof formula. Um, this one is the Tarte Multiply, Multi-Eye. I don't know, it's the one in the white tube. It's really great and it lasts forever. I swear I've had this one like six months and it's amazing. Just make sure, I mean, you're not putting this on after any other mascara, so just make sure you put it on clean lashes and it will last that much longer. If you are going to a holiday party, you're wearing maybe a glittery eye, you don't want the glitter to fall along your cheeks as the night goes on. Um, it's just not, it's not pretty. So you need this. It's from Too Faced. It's the Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This stuff is very, very sticky. Anything you put on top of it, um, if you let it set, it is not going to move the entire night. Maybe you're going out for New Year's Eve. It's gonna be a long night. You want your makeup to look good when those lights come on. Definitely pick this one up. Yeah, you will not be sorry. I have really been loving my Lorac palette. My son, got into it a couple months ago, I guess, and he tore it up. So I've really been trying to use it to kind of smooth things back out, um, but it is just a wonderful palette. I really am on the fence. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get my friends and family for Christmas. Of course, I love to give makeup gifts. This is a present that I think anyone would really, really love, um, but they've just kind of got to be into makeup to appreciate it. It's got a lot of choices here, which could overwhelm someone that is just getting into makeup for the first time, you know what I mean? Um, but if you just kind of want to wet their whistle, pick up one of these little things. I think I got this for like 15 bucks in the checkout line at Ulta. It has got some gorgeous shades, and after getting this, it made me really want to get the Lorac palette and I ended up getting the first one and the second one um, because the quality is amazing. They just know their shadows. They know their shadows. Um, 
but I feel like if I got this for my mom, I don't think she would use the garnet color. I don't think she would use um, the deep purple color. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence. I am going to do an entire video about the products that I am getting my friends and family for Christmas, and I'm not gonna post that until Christmas because um, I don't want them to see when I'm getting them. Um, but those are gonna be the top products that I um, really, really love this year, and therefore I'm buying them for other people. So stay tuned for that one. These have been my favorites for this week. Please share with me in the comments below the products that you've been loving. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you are wearing a bow. Hashtag bowsimber. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.